So today we're shooting in the Canadian Rockies and I'm so excited. Not only because it is absolutely a beautiful winter wonderland up here, cue the music, but I've got some friends showing up. We're gonna all shoot together and it should be a great time. So looking forward to today, it's gonna be awesome. Good place, good people, can't beat that. This lake bed that is known for having these methane bubbles that form in the in the ice. The problem is we have a nice layer of snow over the entire lake bed so that shot isn't gonna happen but what is gonna happen is a beautiful sunrise starting to form. Sunrise isn't for another 45 minutes or so and we have all of this beautiful ice that is kind of cracked along the edge of the lake bed as the, as the water has gone lower. So I'm going to try to sneak up on ice formation, see if we can find something cool for our foreground and get our first shot. One of the hardest parts of shooting at this location is that you have to be really careful about where you walk. I'm really paranoid right now about walking up on a, on a chunk of ice or a piece of snow that I want, might want to use as a foreground or somebody else might want to use. So I'm trying to be very careful. But right now I have this shot lined up with this cracked ice in the foreground. That's kind of what I'm looking for. I'm not sure that this is the chunk of ice that I want, but I wanted to grab that shot while the light is still really nice. We have this beautiful pre-dawn glow happening, kind of a twilight kind of look. And I really love the color palette. So I'm gonna try to get a few shots while that's happening and then move on, see if I can find a stronger composition. This place is absolutely amazing. It is so beautiful. We have a beautiful sunrise starting to happen here. So because I've gotten so much closer to my foreground, it's requiring me to focus stack to get it sharp from front to back. So I'm taking a shot where I'm focused to the cl on the closest piece of ice to the camera. Now I'm gonna take another shot, focus just a little bit beyond that, about six inches in. Then I'm going to move my focus point to about three feet away from the camera take that shot and now I'm going to take one where I'm focused all the way back on the mountain in the background which will be infinity. The light is only getting better so I'm going to continue to shoot this one composition and do some vertical shots as well as horizontal shots. Beautiful area. We're surrounded 360 degrees by huge, impressive mountains. It's gorgeous. This morning's shoe was just gorgeous. Beautiful conditions. Sky lit up really nice. I don't know that I love my compositions that I got, but still, what a, what a way to spend a morning. It's really cold and we're gonna go get some breakfast and some coffee and then see what kind of trouble Gavin gets us into. Decided to go hang out with these guys.
so we've had a little breakfast and we've come back to the lake. Of course, now there's a lot more people here, but we do have some really cool kelp cloud structures forming. So we're gonna take the afternoon to go scout out, hopefully some better compositions than we got this morning and see what we can find. <laughs> So after some very refreshing daiquiris and a little bit of ice sledding, we're uh, finally gonna go around and start trying to find some compositions for what we're gonna shoot tonight. Very hopeful for the light. Light is looking very promising. We have some giant lenticular clouds forming off that way. Exciting stuff. So if you're wondering why the broom, it's because we're using that to sweep off the ice in places that we might want to photograph the methane bubbles that happen underneath this particular lake. Having said that, however, I don't think that's going to be the shot that I'm going for. I've come over to where the ice is doing this upheaval and there's some really interesting areas that are reflecting the light back and I'm hopeful that kind of in the, the last hours of tonight that might serve as a really cool composition. Also the cool part about this particular lake is you can shoot both this way or this way. We have compositions looking both ways so we can shoot with the light or into it. And we have some really killer dark skies happening over that way. So here before too long I'm gonna do some telephoto shots where I am have my mountains in the background and this ice upheaval for my foreground. So I think we finally found something to be excited about. Over there, the composition I had found was pretty mediocre. And after some walking around, Gavin found some nice clean ice where we have uh, some methane bubbles showing up in addition to some really cool crystals coming up. And we also have those lenticular clouds in the background that are really looking interesting. And we're hopeful that they're gonna catch a little bit of light during sunset. And what's cool about this is that you're getting the highlights reflecting off of the ice and uh, really adding a whole lot of foreground interest. Over where we were with the snow, it was just really, really flat, and it was really, really boring, to be honest. But uh, this is looking pretty cool over here. Chicks dig Hawaiian shirts, right? Yeah, it's very slimming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing is slimming like a giant purple orchid. <laughs> so right now, it's like a giant vloggasm. You got Thomas, Gavin, right there. You got Adam Gibbs across the river there being original as usual. Really excited to see what happens. And even if that doesn't catch color, right now I think that there's enough contrast that it's gonna make a good wide angle shot. So I'm going to shoot several of these kind of texture shots of the ice, which I'm excited about. And uh, then I'm gonna to switch to wide angle and get kind of the, the grand landscape. So I found this little Z pattern in the, in the cracks in the ice and I'm absolutely loving how uh, you're getting not only cracks in the ice, but you're getting the methane bubbles, you're getting all the, all the different elements that is kind of making this area unique all in one shot. And I'm excited about that shot for sure. I'm gonna do a couple more texture shots and then we'll switch over to wide angle and try to make use of, of these cool lenticular clouds we have going on. So I've shot several different compositions now, uh, but this one I'm really liking just because the, the, the way the highlights are hitting the curved edges of the ice is really, really cool and it's really drawing the eye in. Um, and plus the way that the snow is kind of filling the cracks in the ice, uh, it, I feel like it just kind of ties it all together. It's really all about the highlights in the ice to me in this one. That and these awesome lenticular clouds in the background, really, really cool. What do you got? 
Uh, whoa, I've got um, uh, quite a medley of snow meeting ice and then bubbles beneath the ice plus veiny fingers and then lenticular clouds and mountains plus reflection so you know certainly not going simple today I'm going all in awesome Will, Go. what are you thinking of the, the Canadian Rockies so far uh, so far it's it's very very nice very impressed um, but excited to see more um, yeah. excited to to start you know I feel like because it's my first day I just like oh I want to shoot everything and shoot it wide yeah. I think as the days go on I'm gonna, I'm gonna start honing in a bit more and trying to find little vignettes in the landscape that tend to... Yeah, you almost have to kind of get it out of your system. Yes, when you're exactly right, up. exactly yeah. right. Yo, yo, yo. What you got going on, Mr. Oh, Hardcastle? got some lovely um, telephoto juiciness in telephoto the scene here. juiciness. So what I love about this shot is I just love how this river is creeping in from the left of the frame into the center and then flowing off into the distance and it's framed epically by these lenticular clouds that are coming in and we've got this beautiful it's almost blue hour i would say it's beautiful light on these peaks loads of snow on those which contrast quite well with these on the right which don't have as much snow and i like the layers i like how i've got in the, the first layer i've got the, the river in the second layer i've got this mountain here and in the third layer i've got these mountains and i guess if you wanted to say there was a fourth well that's your lenticulars absolutely juicy <laughs> So the light back where we were shooting is now done. I did a couple telephoto shots that I liked as well. And, um, but now what's exciting is we're starting to get some color back this way. So you can't beat, you can't beat getting to shoot 360 degrees around you. That's not, that doesn't happen all the time. So now I'm looking for some nice uh, foreground element to use as a foreground for our beautiful background that we have going on back there. So, very excited. So after scrambling around, I found this composition with the ice poking up out of the snow. I absolutely love how it's mimicking the shape of the mountain in the background. So this is just a two shot focus stack. I'm focusing once on the foreground, once on the background. I'll blend them together in Photoshop and this is the result. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. We'll see you in the morning. Here are the photos that we got this week and we'll see you in the next video. Take it easy everybody. <laughs>